coffee shop in Japan that allows you to pick any image for your coffee. <gasps> you want Levi? I've seen this! Oh, this is so cool. It's so cool. Like, the, just the skill that goes into it, just for something so very temporary. It's amazing. It's just so cool. Also, at the same time, you chose Levi, which means now you're going to have to slurp up his face. So either you're into that, or you didn't think this one through fully. And I'm betting it's number one. You knew what you were doing. I'm on to you. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking another delve into r slash next effing level. I love this sub. It's all about gifts and videos that just... Oh, it just makes you go, yes. And it just takes everything to the next level. Y you, you know, you know the deal by now. Let's just jump in. Fitness level infinity. What? Wh what? Ha! That is... <laughs> okay, that's insane. The core strength, the, just the overall strength for all of this. That's insane! I... 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 I look, I, 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 I... I'm not the fittest person. I'm working on that. But this? This feels like it's just superhuman at this point. To me, I have no comparison to work towards with this. This is just... This is insane! Holy crap! And he does it all with a smile. Carving a river stone into a black widow. Hey, grabbing a river stone. Oh. Very nice, very nice. Carving away, carving away. I, I know it's a Black Widow. I'm not keen on spiders. Not keen on spiders. Oh, it's the legs. It's the legs. Oh, it's, that's very cool. That's very cool. But at the same time, why did you have to pick a spider? Why did you have to pick a spider? Black Widow and all. Mm, it looks very cool. But spider. Ugh. When you care about the environment, but just want to be stylish about it. Alright. Oh, checking in. And he's gonna flick it in, isn't he? Yep. Oh, yes! And it goes... <laughs> Yo! Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! That's so well done! And I don't know if that guy does that on the regular, or that was just like a one in a million chance for him. <laughs> By the way, I'm so glad that was caught on camera. In my village, there's a guy that walks around with just like a plastic bag, high vis, and like one of those uh, picker up y thingies. And he just walks around, and like every single day, he walks along the village and just goes around picking up litter. And every time I see him, I'm just like, I just, I just want to say hello. Like he seems like such, a, such a decent guy that I just want to say hello. But social anxiety. One, one day I might just come out and just be like, have my own setup as that, and just join him on that, and just like get to get to know him and like join in with that because that seems cool. What's just doing something good, you know? If you're going to make a building wheelchair accessible, then do it with style. These London wheelchair lifts amaze me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, this is so extra. Like, you know that was built before wheelchairs were like... This is such an old building. You know that this was had to be built separately and even go... It just... It's just solid. It's just, this is so cool. <laughs> that's so much. That's so extra. That's, oh my God. Oh my God. I just, I almost said I want to be, I want to get in a wheelchair just to try this. I just realized what that implicate, it, that implies. No, I don't. This is really cool. And it's a nice way to also incorporate just like the building style as it was. So people can use it all the time if they need to, but also it doesn't take up the entire staircase and it's not a constant fixture. It goes away with the sliding... Uh, that's, I like that. That's really neat. <laughs> Snipers everywhere. Racing, one. Okay, there's one. There's two. two. Yes, oh, he's Kelsey, staying still. Three, four. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming he's just going to get all of them. On, this is... This is something that's just like, it's not, it's it's technically a trick shot because it's doing something neat. It's doing something that can be considered a trick. But at the same time, it's not a case of it's pure luck. This is something that basically anyone can do if they just put in enough time and effort to just learn it. They just, 
get in the practice, they get that muscle memory, they get the feeling, and they get they just build up the skill. This is something that people can just do. And that's really cool that he just spent time to do this. Like, what use is it going to have? I don't know, but it looks freaking sick. And those skills are probably going to be able to be transferred somewhere else. So, hey, who knows? I don't know. That's just cool. This Springtrap cosplay. I've seen this. I've seen this. This is so well done. It's even got the smoke coming out as well. And the movements. It's just... God, this kind of cosplay, dude. This kind of this kind of cosplay where you just go full on in and make something just visually amazing. I love cosplay like this. Uh, it's just the skill, the talent, just everything that goes into it is so neat. It's so good. This also just made me realize I really miss going to conventions and events to do, <laughs> to do videography because it's always fun just to like do the cosplay masquerade and just like see what incredible creations people come on stage to show off. Like it's so good. I miss that. I really miss that. There was one convention I went to, and this dude came in with, like, a full-on Space Marine armor. Like, straight-up Terminator Space Marine armor. And it was eight foot tall. And he needed people to walk him around. That's commitment. That is commitment. And it was so well done. Man decorating a plate by hand. Alright. Huh? Oh, it's a... Okay, alright. <laughs> Very confused all of a sudden. It's like, that's a sponge. How's he doing that? <laughs> that that's precision. That's that is genuine precision. And that's impressive. That is super impressive. I mean, the bomb right at the you can kind of see it's kind of overlapping a bit. He missed it a little bit, but oh, the rest of it looks great. The legs the rest of it looks great. Like that's Ooh, ooh, that precision, like, you could see, like, that was, like, a lot of muscle memory just going to, like, the same place and rotating and all that kind of stuff. I wonder how many he gets through a day. <laughs> if the final boss war heals. I've seen this! This is so good! Alright, okay, you're gonna go, you're gonna go. You think she's gonna fall? You think it's just gonna be one of these things where they just... They try something and they fall because they overcompensated and they thought they could do something? No, she go. She just go. Look, at <laughs> you see the kids struggling with like the one in front. But no, look at this. It's all about the momentum and keeping it going and just done. Just done. Just casually like a badass. Ah, that's quite impressive. Basketball hoop and ball. Let me guess. No hands. Oh, yeah, okay. That was a fancy little spin. Yep. There we go. There we go. Good. Good control. Good. Yep. Yep, I'm so I'm speaking like I know, <laughs> I know sports. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the little kick flip as well at the end. Yeah, no, that's impressive. That that's impressive. That's a routine. I wonder how many takes that took. And again, people like most people could do that if they just put in the time and effort. But that's just cool that you could just do that. It's so good. Oh my god. Hey, you want to play a game of basketball? Sure thing. Uh, but I'm not going to be using my hands. <laughs> I think you got the wrong sport there. The photographer Robert Emerson Landsberg realized he could no longer escape the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. He kept taking pictures until the end and used his own body to protect the pictures he took. That. Oh my god. Oh, you can see the camera starting to like really just take a beating towards the end as well. That's kind of beautifully tragic in a way. Like, that's resignation to the situation and just sticking to, like, your craft and just, oh my god. Like, knowing that, knowing the story behind this just adds so much power to this. And the photo is just, like, continue, continue. It's just so, ah, oh no. That's just incredible i'm struggling to put into words just like the amount of awe i have for like what this guy did <laughs> and like this is these are his final pictures of like just this terrifying natural event and these photos are just one of a kind it's incredible a water pipe had exploded next to a school creating a giant ice show whoa okay <laughs> Ooh. 
I show I, I I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. That's crazy. Oh, oh it's still going. Kevin, I... Yeah, no, no kidding, kid. Uh, <laughs> that that looks really pretty. That looks really pretty. Also, it's a problem that they should probably fix at some point, maybe soon, as soon as possible. But it looks really pretty. You got a makeshift Winter Wonderland right there. Tattooed animation, frame by frame. All right, we got a little, we got a little clown tattoo. What the hell? That is. What? Hold on, is this multiple people or just one? No, 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 it's one person because you can see like the tattoo, like the, the previous frames on different parts of the body going by. Like it looks. Hang on, hang on. How many frames in this animation? Because it's lo it's obviously looping. One. It looks to be like maybe 12 frames per each animation. So that's 24 frames. It That's loose estimation. That's 24 tattoos for this. This is such... <laughs> this guy had vision. This person had vision for their tattoos. And like, I know tattoos is like, it's just literally art on the body. And this guy took it to a whole other dimension. Holy crap. <laughs> How do you show this off though? Like, how do you show this off? It's like, hey, do you want to see something cool? And he just, like, shows off, like, his tattoos and just starts spinning fast enough that it, it turns into, like, a zoetrope. How does this work? <laughs> a steampunk phone case. Oh, okay. A little fan, a little bit of wiring, a little here, a little bit of thing. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Soaring it out. Let's see the final piece. This is, this is meticulous work going on. <laughs> That's neat. That's so cool. That's so cool. Like, <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a basic phone case for my phone at the moment. It's see-through. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that is, yeah, that's a really cool project. But it would just make me even more scared to drop my phone because it's not just your phone that's gonna break. It's, your, it's also your art as well. Uh, <laughs> where does the pop socket go? <laughs> Aiming at a falling arrow. Shoot the arrow. Ready it up. <laughs> Holy crap. Now, I know he was going to hit it because that, otherwise it wouldn't be on the subreddit. We wouldn't be looking at it right now. But still, seeing that is really impressive. <laughs> I have always wanted to try archery. I've never had the chance. I really want to try it. This, this is just really cool. This is just, this is why I love covering next effing level, is because you just get to see so many amazing things. Some of the other subs that we cover can be kind of downer at times. It can be kind of aggravating considering some of the subject matter we cover. But this, this is just the serotonin, please, more, more, more. But that's all the time we have for today on Calvus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend and just taking your day to the next effing level as well. If you want to see some more r slash next effing level, then stick around just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen and I hope to see you in the very next Calvus video. Have a great rest of your day.